In this video, we're gonna cover what basic PC setup we need to start video editing. That's coming up. What's up guys, thanks for watching Video Park. My name's Glenn. My name's Stephen. On this channel, we inspire to learn, teach, and create better looking video content. Now today we're gonna to talk about some PC components you need to start getting into video editing. Now if you're into just home videos, some travel videos, you just wanna do some basic editing, you can pretty much do that on your smartphone nowadays, or an iPad. But if you wanna take it up a notch and start working with 4K or add titles, effects, and graphics, and that sort of thing, you need to get a better PC. Let's start off with the power supply unit, Steve. So the power supply unit, you wanna have it more powerful than what the current project is. So we're running the Cooler Master 650 watt. So a good piece of unit, it's an entry level system and it's not a modular one, but you can get modular ones later on for adding components that you need. Yeah, if you wanna keep your computer a bit more tidier, you have the modular option where you just plug in what you need. It keeps the PC a bit tidier. On to the motherboard, the glue that holds everything together. The most important part of your system, apart from your CPU, is your motherboard, because that's where all your components are gonna go. So your motherboard, you wanna be spending a bit of your money onto it and getting a good, decent system that can handle all your inputs, all your graphics, all your RAM, and every other component that you're gonna be adding into it. We got the Tomahawk B450 Max. It has all everything we need, and it's uh, it's got some good recommendations and, and good reviews. Also, yeah, it's also got a bit of um, room to grow as well if we wanna add in other graphics cards, because this current one can have two graphics cards on it, so it can have a bit more bang for buck um, later on. CPU, steve -O. So the CPU is that uh, we're running the Ryzen 5 with a six core, 12 thread, great piece of unit, and it's able to be overclocked as well to get a bit more extra oomph out of it for that 1080p or 4K resolution video. On to graphics cards, probably the second most important thing for video editing after your CPU is a good graphics card. So a good graphics card, we've got the GTX 1660 Super, and that's running six, six gigabyte of VRAM. So it's a good entry level for doing your 1080p, but it can touch on a little bit of 4K as well if you're doing some basic um, animations. It's all gonna come down to your requirements and what you need. If you're into animation and titles and effects through After Effects or whatever you're using, you're gonna need a better graphics card for sure. If you're just doing basic, you know, videos, you're just starting out, 1080p is more than enough, and that GTX 1660 Super will do the job just fine. On to RAM, so we've got the G-School Rip Jaws. I've got 32 gigabytes of RAM in this system. Minimum, eight gigabytes of RAM. Ideal, 16, even better, 32. Yeah, just make sure you've got a CPU that can handle it, otherwise you're just throwing money down the drain. So yeah. invest in a good CPU, make sure it's compatible with your your motherboard as well, because some of those ports can be a different size, different shape, and different pin setup. Do your research, you can learn everything online. YouTube is the way to go, Steve, you wanna? Yeah, pretty much, that, yep. that's the platform of the day and age. YouTube yep. will tell you pretty much everything, how to build a computer. Storage, so we've got the M.2 SSD drive. Good to have your operating system on this, running all your programs through the one drive. This plugs directly into your motherboard, so it's the fastest way to access your storage. We also have a two and a half inch solid state drive as well. These are both crucial brands, not a bad brand. Um, you know, check them out, do your research. This is where our media and all our footage goes on to the two and a half inch drive. And then we have a backup external drive as well. You know, just a normal plug-in external drive. Onto monitors, so ideally two monitors is good. So we've got the Dell 27 inch 2K monitor. That's what we do most of our editing on. Then we have a reference monitor, which is just a 1080p monitor to play back our footage, um, you know. It's just easy to be able to offload some of your information onto one screen while you're editing and then have your video play on the other. It just, you know, just frees you up a little bit. Yeah, and that's where a good graphics card comes in because it'll be able to handle multiple monitors and not slow down your system as much. Yep, definitely. In terms of accessories, so we've got the headphones that we have, the can noise cancellation headphones, which are from Turtle Beach. It's a 600 Stealth. Got these for free, I think, through yeah, Telstra. So, yeah, so <laughs> the Turtle Beach um, headphones are actually gaming headphones, so they've got the noise cancelling in them. You can also change the settings on them so you can hear a bit more that dynamic range to it. So you don't need an expensive set, but you do need a set that's gonna be able to get that full range of audio through so you can actually edit it properly. Correctly, yeah, that's right. It's yeah, definitely important to have good headphones, especially when you're trying to focus in on your editing, just to cancel out that background noise. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you got something out of this video. We look forward to hearing from you. Leave a comment below. 
and we'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification button. And also, let us know what you've done in your, your system as well. We'd like to know what components you've used, and what things that we can add into ours at a later point to be able to do a bit more um, higher definition video, like 4K, 8K, or whatever it needs to be. Well, on this channel, we like to learn, teach, and create. We're not experts. We're here to learn, teach you guys as well what we know, and we'd love to hear your feedback. So yeah, leave a comment. See you in the next one. Cheers. CPU, the central brains of the computer really. This is what controls all your information and talks to all the parts and components. To, uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs>